So we're out here in the rain in our front yard and our first project for our runaway is lighting. We got these LED lights from Walmart for less than $3 a piece. And the light is really bright when it stares at you face on. So we thought that it would be perfect to go on underneath this shelf. We plan on putting some storage solution down here. Um, so it's perfect light to um, light up underneath here. And they just look like a normal light switch, so they just flip on and off. And they run off of four AAA batteries. So they'll probably last us a long time. And we're, we feel like they're pretty bright. And we're going to do some um, LED string lights around the runaway. We got these on Amazon for $18, and it's 18 foot. So we'll show you that next. We just got our mattress for our camper that we got yesterday. Came in, uh, so I'm super dressed up, you know, because I had to go out there and go in the rain and snow to pick up this mattress out of our driveway. But I just wanted to make sure I showed you what it looks like. So we ended up going with a three-fold queen mattress to go into our camper. Now the reason we did that is it folds up into three pieces and we can create a couch with it or we can fold it down and actually use it as um, a, a mattress when we want it because you know there's not a whole lot of room in the runaways and so you have to really maximize that space things have to be multi-purpose or have more than one purpose so what we decided was that this was the best bet for us now it might not be the best bet for you but I figured we'd open it right here show you what it is then you can make that decision for yourself when you decide to purchase your runaway or your camper You can see as I'm undoing this that it already has the three pieces that create the queen mattress. So this is, you know, six inch memory foam. So it's feeling really, really, really nice. The gray is, you know, we, we picked the gray because um, we wanted we wanted something that kind of went with everything because we weren't sure what our color scheme was going to be or anything like that. And gray just kind of matches a whole lot. We had gray on the camper already. So that's what we went with. made it through the rain and the mud and we are here in the runaway it's kind of windy um, fun little fact you didn't know about us but Brendan and I both are working professionals and we are online students I am getting my master's degree in integrated marketing communications and Brendan has his master's in applied mathematics and now he is working on his PhD in education um, we did make some time to uh, deck out the camper, so I'm gonna show you guys what we've done so far. So here is the front of the runaway. Up top, we have some baskets. We haven't put anything in them yet. The it, They were nesting baskets from Walmart, so the two little ones uh, came inside the big one. The big one fits the shelf a little better. We're worried about the little ones um, falling out. So we may just use them in our house and not in here. Um, but we will see about that. 
so far nothing else on the shelf except we've got this um moisture absorber it's called an eva dry and it uses no electricity or batteries it's just when uh the crystals turn green ish then you know that you need to plug it in and it dehydrates itself so we just wanted to keep moisture out we've got down here a pop-up hamper and then we were able to fit three wooden crates we got all this stuff from Walmart and um, we've got these in here and we're thinking about putting shoes and other storage in this area um, maybe some of this stuff somehow we didn't want to shell out the money for a clam just yet we've seen those and we think they're awesome but this was $38 at Walmart so this is what we're starting out with so we can have some outdoor living space I don't know about you but I get eaten up by bugs so a netted space to hang out and enjoy the outdoors sounds awesome to me and then I was really worried about um, you know of course using campground showers so I wanted to have a shower caddy and this um, fits so well in here it almost locks into place I didn't plan that but you just kind of squeeze the handles and it fits in there perfectly we um, as you saw earlier we velcroed some battery powered LED lights under the shelf and we plan on putting a TV probably over here a small one so we can enjoy some comforts of home while we're camping we ordered we have three windows in here so I ordered three sets of curtains thinking that we were gonna do the command hooks and curtain rods but we had bought a bunch of velcro and it ended up working out that one panel of each curtain fit almost perfectly on the windows so we twisted them sideways we got some bungee cords that we just tied them up with and they roll out and cover the window almost perfectly and it does go a little bit above and below and I just um, velcroed them up at the top four sections and then when we're um, not using them we're gonna roll them up and tie them with these little bungees we got a big set of bungees from Walmart and we decided to use the little ones for the curtains and then we've got some bigger ones that we're gonna stretch in front of this so those don't fall out while we're driving then back here we've got our sofa bed this is a queen size and it fits with just a little bit of room on the side there and we've got some sheets and a blanket ready to go and um, this is so nice because we have dogs as you know and we don't want them to immediately hop in the camper and jump on the bed and get the bed all dirty so we have these um, these are actually foam but you can see they piece together and we got we made them we bought them so they look like wood and Brendan just cut the little sides off it's not perfect but um, this is so much more comfy than just coming in on the hard floor and when the dogs jump in with dirty paws we'll be able to easily clean it and then they won't get on the bed and before we go to bed we can stretch it out I'm thinking it'll come pretty close to the wood crates but that's fine when we're not using it we're just gonna roll it back up and I don't have electricity right now to show you the lights um, obviously they fell a little bit we need to fix that but we hooked those up with velcro and it works perfect it plugs in over there we've got it wrapped around to a go above this door so it pretty much lights the whole space and that was 18 feet of rope lights and as I showed you we have the lights up here so I think we're gonna have a pretty well lit space so right now that's all we've done I just wanted to show you that while Brendan was doing some homework I had some free time 
and I wanted to show you guys the projects we've done this week. Uh, stay tuned. Next week we are taking it to Williamsburg and we're going to film our trip and see how that goes. I'm really hoping that the weather here in Virginia clears up because we're so sick of the rain and the cold and we've had some snow and it was pretty luckily it didn't you know it didn't really affect the roads and driving too much because I don't want to drive in snow <laughs> but um so hopefully that stays away for next weekend we're looking forward to it and stay tuned.